When it comes to budget Hackintoshes, there's typically two things I don't like. The first is that they come in bulky, ugly cases, and the second is that they don't come with dedicated graphics cards. And while both these save money, I've come up with a $500 build that not only is powerful with the graphics card, but also is aesthetically pleasing for your desk. The CPU for this build is the Intel i7-4790. It's not the K version, so it can't be overclocked, but we're not gonna worry about overclocking any of the components in this build. Speaking of motherboards, we're using the MSI Z871 motherboard. Now you can use any LGA 1150 ITX board as long as it has the correct socket. This is just the board that I went with because I found a great deal on it, but you can pick up a lot of these kind of great boards around the $80 range. The RAM I'm using in this build is going to be 8GB with two 4GB sticks. Now this is DDR3 memory that I actually just had laying around, but you can pick up these DDR3 modules, two 4GB sticks, roughly $35, $40 range to put in your motherboard. Any kind works as long as it's compatible with your motherboard. For storage I'm using a pretty simple 250GB Samsung SSD. For the power supply, I'm using 450 watts. Uh, it does have to be an SFX power supply, and any SFX power supply will work. However, I do recommend you get something graded either bronze or higher, as some of those sketchy, cheap power supplies, I just, I don't really trust in a case. Speaking of cases, we're using the Geek A50 case, which is by far the best case you can get under 100 bucks in the mini ITX form factor. It is under 10 liters, it's beautiful, it sits right on your desk and it looks fantastic, showing off your internal components, especially that GPU. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about, yes, is the graphics card. So you may be wondering what in the world that thing is on the side of my computer there. Well, that is actually an AMD RX 480. The great thing about the cryptocurrency crash is that GPUs on the AMD mid-range side, like the 470s and 480s, are dirt cheap. You can pick them all up for under 100 bucks. And if you can find some, you know, broken ass parts like this one here, $64 I got this one, didn't have any working fans on there. So it was just the heat sink, but hey, I slapped on a 120 millimeter fan onto the side of that that fits snug in the case and it's cooled just fine. Now we're gonna boot and check performance on this thing. Starting off, I just wanna look at price differentials though so you can see what a great value this actually is. 